Hi, Bob Greenier here, volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. I'm absolutely shaking right now. Uh, I wanted to share this with you because uh, this is a, a real moment here uh, in uh, our project's history. And I, I'm just so excited, I can't even begin to tell you. Um, so, uh, the big mystery is what causes this kind of strange radiation track? How? How can we have something that's got gaps and it's periodic and it's got little strike marks and, and, and it seems to not lose energy, but that's another aspect. But how do you create something that's periodic, changes direction, has little cut marks, they, they seem to have their own unique pattern, but how does this happen? How does this happen? And when, when it turns around a corner, you then get these kind of like almost hexagon shapes, and, but it's obviously still part of the same track. Well, I have something so exciting to share with you. Really, check this out. I've just found this. I'm looking at the, the second plate that I'm looking at um, of the Amaza uh, uh, vibrator plate. Oh my God, I'm excited. <laughs> okay, right, I'm gonna show you what it is. This, look at this puppy. Look at it. And before you think it's a soap bubble, which was, I mean, I'm trying to go, okay, Bob, this can't be real, really. What is this? What am I looking at? Do, is this a soap bubble? Or am I looking at something that's actually the thing that causes strange radiation tracks? Let's go back to that strange radiation track. Where is it? Ah, uh, look. Now, imagine what you've just seen. Imagine what you've just seen rotating around and... It's kind of like got bits of different intensity or bits that would cut through the surface because it's they're kind of bent. Look, look at it again. I'm gonna I'm gonna close this one, and I'm gonna bring this up small. So look, look. Imagine something like this rotating around, and you've got intense areas and areas which are not that intense. Look, and then it changes direction. You get something that's like a hexagon. Well, it, it's kind of like this bit and it's just imprinting on the surface and changing it this is amazing what i'm seeing here oh my god and this is what <laughs> and so look it's not just a one-off here's another one and look at this one it's got this kind of uh space around it so you've got an intense bit in the center and then the space around it Look again at what you are seeing with this. You have a gap, a gap here, okay? There's kind of an area which isn't very intense. And then you have this intense bit. Imagine this rotating like that and imprinting this as a section as it cuts through the material. This is what you're getting. <laughs> it's what you're getting. Oh my God, I'm gonna show you another one. So I've, I've actually scaled one of these puppies. There we go. So there it is. Uh, the radius is 0.148. And where have we got the, uh, we did some measurement, didn't we? I mean, they come in different quanta, but you know, 0.148, well, if it was rotating, I don't know. Is it something similar to this? I don't know. But, oh my God, I think we're there. I think we know what causes strange radiation tracks and we only left Japan on, what was it, uh, Friday. Oh my God. And you know what's really, really, really exciting for me? Really exciting for me is I've seen this before. Where did I see it before? Look, I've got another measurement on this. Look, there we go. Uh, unfortunately, I hit the contrast button, so I overdid it, but this one is 0.179 radii, so it's, it's double that on the diameter. Um, where have I seen this before? Well, I saw it after I came back from Sochi, and I thought seriously that, that you know, I must look at Matsumoto's work, because I saw one paper, and, and, I, and I thought, I think he really has it. And here we are. January 1993, January Infusion Technology, and look what he found on the back of a palladium deuterium system. Look at it! Look at it! I'm so excited! I can't begin to tell you! Look at this!
Now look at what he was showing to everyone in 19, January 1993. Now look at this. Now look at this one. Where is it? There we go. Look at this. You've kind of got this cloud thing around it and these structures in the middle. Now look at his. I think we know what causes strange radiation and the real, real reason that they are kind of like different if, uh, oh my God, my hands are shaking. I, the reason they are different is because they are actually different. They're different sized clusters. Look. It's freaking amazing. It's amazing. Okay, I think that's long enough, but I'm gonna share these images. I, I, I've only a, a looked at a small area of this plate. This is plate number two. But, oh my God. Thank you, Mr. Amaza, for being open and, and for letting us have free reign and for allowing us to take these plates away. I think we've cracked what strange radiation is, at least on a structural level. And I just think that it is a sh crying shame that uh, Fusion Technology ceased to publish um, uh, Matsumoto's work because they changed rules. Where would we be if this man could, can, could have continued his insightful research? Here we are. I think this is our puppy. And thank you again to Mr. Amaza.